All right. So another primus. Why? Because the bone in the box says when I was showing my collection, all I see is an unpicked primus. So this is his fault. Um, so this is the primus that was in the unpicked box. Um, so I was m monkeying around with some other locks today, and then his comment made me have to come and pick this unpicked Primus. <laughs> uh, Alright, get right into it. Pin 2's binding. Uh, pin 2 is way up there. I'm going to do this for my hands to fit better. Standard pins all set. Or feels like it's binding. Also going way up there. That's got to be overset. Try again. One is loose. Two is binding. Going up, two's going up. Okay, three loose, four, yeah, binding. So two, then four. Let's see if I can do four without oversetting. Is that four setting or was that just me slipping? Not sure. Let's look some more. Five is. Five, I think, is just set. Or six. Mm -hmm. All right, let's check. One's loose. Two's way up there. Stuck. Six feels loose. This one's better for feeling which pins are. One is binding. Okay, that's not an open. That's me hitting the um, <laughs> hitting the vise, <laughs> coming loose, and <laughs> the whole thing turns. All right. Start again. I know it's two first. We'll start on two. Get two up a little bit with that hook one, and then I'll go to my hook seven. Peter's eighteen thousandths. Click from two. Three is springy. Go to four. Where's binding? Click from four, five this time, yep, it's tight, six, six is springy, I think, yep, check the beginning again, use the one, hook one, for feeling springs, I mean feeling for springs, alright, one feels, uh, one feels like it's binding, oh, now it doesn't feel like it's binding anymore, but I'm going to keep Feel he's binding anymore. One. Three springy. I didn't like the sound of that. That sounded like maybe an overset. Let's go check on six. Where are you, six? Uh, air hand alerts turning off, giving me my sense of sound back. Okay, click from four. Six still doesn't feel like it's binding. One is springy. Two is way, way up there. 
refills springy but kind of crunchy springy hmm. okay oh okay touched something I touched uh, I think six and I got my false set so I think well not false. well my set of the um, of the shear line and indeed I can feel that the side bar pins are now um, rigid so I gotta work on these Pin one is binding, so let's go ahead and mess with pin one a little. Move it up, push it front and back. Okay, now it's a little springy. Um, pin two, bind. No, it's pin two binding. Doesn't seem to be binding. Pin three, feels like it's binding. All right, let's push it front and back and up and down. Higher. Let's check four and five, see if they're binding at all. I only hear one of them. No, they're five and four are not binding, they're both clicking, so it's got to be three I got to work on. I'm having a hard time getting under three. Oh, somebody coming to the basement to bug me. I hear feet. Okay, lifting three up a little bit more, try pushing it back, try pulling it forward. I think I pushed three super duper high. I don't think that the pins go that high. Alright, I let it drop back down, try again with it. Alright, now it's uh now it doesn't feel like it's binding more. Now it doesn't feel like it's binding, so let me check some of my front two, see if one of them came out of whack when I let, let off the tension. Uh, pin one is acting funky. Okay, maybe it's back in. Two is okay. Three, okay, three feels like it's binding again. Let's try this moving of it around again. Try pulling it forward, pushing it backward, pulling it forward, pushing it backwards, and edging it a little bit higher. All right, let's check four and five, see if they're binding yet. Nope. Go back to pin three again. Must be three, okay. Is that it? Let's check four and five again. Yeah, they're not binding, so. Pin three is either not binding or it's in its gate because it's kind of loose. Maybe two wasn't set. Let's check two. Oh, that was a bit violent. I might have messed something up. Um, pin two seems. Yeah, pin two's loose. Pin one is binding somehow, but can't tell if it's set. This one is not giving me as good of a feedback as that first premise I picked, as far as the sidebar goes. Um, let's see if 4 and 5 are finding it. Nope. I think the trick is pick, uh, the trick is pin 3 on this one on the sidebar. On the other one is pin 4. Pin 3 does not seem to be binding. It's, so I must be stuck at pin 1. Let's try playing with pin 1 some more. Pushing it, I can't pull it, pulling it, pushing it, lifting it, okay, I think he's in his gate, pin 2, pin 2 doesn't appear to be, oh, well maybe pin 2's in his gate too. Pin three still doesn't seem to be or maybe it's in this gate. Four and five. Oh. Okay, four okay, I got a little bit of rotation when I pushed four back. So I'm thinking that's just pin five now. Let's see if pin five is binding. Indeed. Pin five seems to be binding. Now I just gotta figure out how to get under it. I can't see it, so it's a little tricky. 
and we are open, pin five. So that's the second Primus. We'll go ahead and uh, gut it. Not the, let's see. Um, yeah, so it's open. Uh, key, key's back here. Key on this is just, it's ugly, uh, you know, up, down, up, down. Oh no, it's down, up, down, up, down, up, right? Just, yeah. Not as fun of a key, or not as nice of a key as the other one was. This one is more pick resistant, I guess. Uh, we'll lock it up. Key works. Oh, did I show that without the key, it doesn't work? Let's see. Go ahead and take off this cap. a little bit so what I did in this process was I set all, um, the six standard pins down the middle and once they set the core turned slightly and then I picked the five side pins by lifting and rotating them to the proper direction so they have to be lifted and rotated so a little notch can fit into the uh, let me catch the sidebar where is it on the side of course okay so there's the sidebar. That's uh, what sets into the side pins, um, the side sliders. And it has these little um, notches on it that fit into the um, that slider, or the, the five sliders, rather. The two springs that give it tension. We'll take out the top pins next. They're just standard pins. Five, oh, sorry, there's six, aren't there? Six, five, four, three, two, one. Get those a little bit sorted. They're just standard standard pins, nothing special. Um, sidebar pins, we have, there's the first, oh, that's pin five, I'll put it. And these all have the same springs, so they're over there. So there's pin, Five, four, three, two, and one. Um, okay, so that's that. There's no, there's nothing special on the core. And in here we got some tweezers. These are all standard, so there's uh, standard one, two. Oh, these springs are different colors in here. I don't think I've, uh, I haven't gutted this one yet, so let's see. We got two different color springs. Um, three. handler again, making noise. Five. And, oh, six. Alright, so that's uh, the rim cylinder primus. The last time I did the kick, the kick primus. So here's our pins. Um, you've got your six standard pins, six standard drivers, and then these five sidebar pins. You can see that the um, cuts in here, where the sidebar pokes into, are at different heights on the pin. So you have to lift them to different heights. And then you probably can't see, but um, this one looks like uh, it might be like a straight on cut. So you have to rotate this to be. It, it can either be towards the front, towards the back, or towards the middle. So this one's probably towards the mid, like uh, straight into the keyway. This one is at a bit of an angle, so you have to pull this 
pin towards the front of the uh, plug in order to get it. Um, this one also looks like it's maybe pulling towards the front um, and so on. So that is the Primus kick. The only one left is the Primus S, uh, LFIC or SFIC or whatever, interchangeable core Primus. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that two Primus picks in a row is enough for now. Watch the bone in the box is going to make comment again. Anyways, um, that's that. Thanks. Bye.